Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to another edition of ASAP Book Club. Oh my god. I'm Mitch. <laughs> and I'm Greg. We're the guys from ASAP Science. I think I recognize you. Uh, where did you guys come from though? Did you come from in there? We actually came to bring you an awesome evolution snack. They're Darwin cupcakes. Look, there's a little fish on them on land showing how fish evolved to become tetrapods way back in the day. Oh yummy. Mm, you oh. know, we do what we can with our bacon. I got, you guys can stay. <laughs> <laughs> Today we'll be reviewing Bill Nye's Undeniable, Evolution and the Science of Creation. While the most obvious takeaway from Bill Nye's book is that creationism is not a viable way to think about the history of the universe, he also looks at the very positive elements of evolution and how they can inspire us. So today we're going to look at the five most inspiring ideas about evolution as presented by Bill Nye in Undeniable. Number one, it gives us a good reason to treat all living things with respect due to our similarities. On page three, Nye explains that every living organism is essentially chemically the same inside. We've all descended from the same common ancestor. We are all shaped by the same forces and factors that influence every living thing on earth, and we all carry DNA. Two, it makes us wonder about being alone in the universe. As Bill Nye said on page 115, if you meet someone who insists that they haven't wondered about whether or not we're alone in the universe, they're lying. What does Bill think that other life could look like? As far as the potential ecosystem under the ice of Europa, he thinks that there, there are probably fish-like creatures. Creatures that look not unlike the fish that we have here on Earth. Like impact craters and volcanoes, it's possible that things tend to look pretty much the same everywhere in the universe. Number three, no one's perfect. And if we could be, evolution wouldn't exist. It's meta, and it goes in circles forever. We needed evolution for our brains to start thinking about evolution. Why don't we have brains that just know everything and function perfectly? If you think of sleep, for example, it's an imperfect and strange and seemingly unnecessary phenomenon that we and many other species go through, and yet it persists. Evolution is okay with good enough because it's not necessarily trying to get to an end point. Perfection is relative. What's perfect for you is different for someone else, and the same goes for organisms. What's ideal for one organism can be completely different for another. So stop striving for perfection. Number four, even Darwin struggled with the theory of evolution due to his personal beliefs. Further, under evolutionary theory, humans are not special. They're just like every other organism on the planet trying to pass on their genes for the betterment of their species. Yet Darwin is inspiring because he didn't give up on his theory no matter how much it disagreed with his personal beliefs. He pushed through his personal ignorances and he let science prevail. Five, while humans may not be special, we are important. In our present form, we've been around for about 100,000 years, and in that time we've launched rockets into space and used microbiology to fight major diseases. Yet, almost everything we know about evolution has emerged in the last 150 years. So we need to fight to preserve biodiversity and try to raise the standard of living for all human beings. And if we stay observant of science, we will continue to make discoveries that will astonish us in the future. Okay, so let's go on with curiosity, keen eyes, and bushy tails, and let's continue with science and stop arguing about our beliefs, guys. We're all in this together. I don't know about you, but I feel super inspired now. That was awesome. I love reading that book. Me too. So what's the next book going to be? There's a very special book that's coming out on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I helped illustrate it. It's very near and dear to my heart <laughs> and maybe yours. I think I know what you're talking about. It's the ASAP Science oh! Book! So it's actually called ASAP Science, Answers to the World's Weirdest Questions, Most Persistent Rumors, and Unexplained Phenomenal. Absolutely, so this book is all about the stuff you've always wondered. Some of it's from our videos, but a bunch of it's new questions that you've been asking through the years that we finally answered. Uh, you can get it online, we'll put links in the description when it comes out, or now, so you can get it on March 17th. We're so excited. So as always, follow us on all of our social media sites to follow along for book club. Uh, you can follow the hashtag ASAP Book Club. Also, make sure you check out our subreddit, ASAP Team. We got lots of information there. We'll be keeping that posted. And finally, be sure to subscribe to ASAP Thought for weekly videos every Wednesday and a weekly vlog every Saturday. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.